Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing um, uh, some late night uh, coding. So, um, we're going to be doing stuff to this. We're basically going to be making it so that we can actually change teams, which is, one, which is going to be very fun. And yeah. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some two remote events actually into here. And we're going to make... Uh, name one of them team changed oh let's actually do change team and team change because we're gonna have to have to be deal dealing with the um client in the server so we're gonna be sending things from the client to the server then back to the client <laughs> which is gonna be funky but hopefully we can do it perfectly fine. So the first thing that we should do is actually change this. Let's not keep it at player added because we're gonna change this to a team thing. So we're gonna name this team. And after here, what we can say is game.replicatedStorage.RemoteEvents.ChangeTeam Oh my gosh, okay, change, dot, change team. Okay, finally, okay, dot, on, oh my gosh, okay, this is not good. On server event, connect, function, oh, function, okay. Now, <laughs> this is gonna be funky. I'm trying to remember back to when I made this, um, If the number of game dot teams, um, and then, uh, oh gosh. Oh wait, no, we need to get this because we're going to send it. Okay, so team right here. This is the team. If game dot teams, oh wait, no, we need to actually add a player too. Because um, when you're sending things from the uh, client to the server, the, it'll automatically send the player, so we need to actually get the player, then you can get what you wanted to get. So, um, now what we can say is, um, find first child, um, team, dot, dot, team, because when we're making the teams here, it says like blue then team at the end so we're just going to be sending over the color so if we what team is is just the color of the team so it would just be blue it would just it's a string so it would just be the string blue the string red the string white anything in the lines of that get players basically this is getting the players that are um in there and if that is greater than uh, or equal to four, um, then, because I'm pretty sure in the game there's only four people in there, I think, I, I could be wrong, there could be like only three, but I'm just going to do four because I'm not, I'm not totally sure, because I haven't played build a boat in so long. <laughs> so player dot team is equal to game dot teams um find first child team dot dot team oops team and that should be good. Um and then we're just going to reload the player. So load character. Ah, character. Character. Is that how you spell it? For some reason, I feel like that's not how you spell it. Character. Character. Looking. Oh my gosh. This hurts my brain because. Looking at that too much makes it not seem like a word. 
Oh, that hurts my brain. Um, now we're just going to say game dot replicated storage dot remote events dot team changed. I'm pretty sure. Fire all clients. Oops. Okay, that was weird. Okay. Now that we have done that, we can go into. Where is it? It's not in there. Uh, oh, in here. And then in the player list, we can go into here. And then all I have to do is just copy this whole thing, paste it, and then just change this to dot remote events dot team changed. And that's it. Now we can do a player test by just clicking publish to Roblox. Then let's do a five player test. Okay, this is probably gonna crash my game. Oh wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. wait, I just thought about the script that I just made. Okay, okay, I found an issue, okay. Okay, that, that could have ruined it all. Um. In here. Also, I think we can get rid of this random team. Oh, no. Because that's the start. It should. Yeah, okay. Actually, you know what? Random team. Let's put you in here. Wait. I just thought about something. This could go together. Also, why did I just, what did I close? I feel like I closed something, but I didn't. Okay. So this can go in here. Okay. That works. And now, instead of this, which doesn't make any sense, um, we should say is less than four, then it'll work. So let's just quickly see if it actually works before we do like a four player test. Okay, everything's good. Everything's chilling. We're on blue, uh, team blue and oh my gosh, I forgot something. Okay, I forgot to even make the GUI. I'm so smart, Mike. I'm so smart, guys. You know, like I always rem uh, remember to do everything. Like I never forget to do anything. I always for I always remember. I never forget. Team change. Uh, a frame and a button. Let's make this very simple. Let's put this right here. Okay, I'm going fast. Uh, change team. Uh. Okay, now we can add, uh, I think it should be text buttons. Yeah, let's just do text buttons. Then let's make that like by a hundred. Yeah, okay, there. Duplicate that. Actually, and scale, oops. Scale that down a bit, like to maybe 75, and 75, so then hopefully, no that can't fit, um, 60 is the magic number, oh gosh, that's, that's not what I want, not wanted to do, oh. Okay, that is not the magic number. Great, okay. 
Okay, you know what? I'm not going to put much effort into this. You guys can do whatever you want with it. There we go. That's mine. That's my GUI, okay? I I am not good with GUIs. Just let's let's just say that. I am not great at with GUIs. Just just in general not good. Okay, so blue red white and i'm guessing this took me like one minute to make <laughs> which is very very weird and bad change uh blue team red team oh i just said re team i bet a lot of people want to be on that team <laughs> re I don't know why I just said that. Um, uh, tech scaled. Okay, now I actually have to make them do things. So we're just going to say script dot parent dot mouse button one click, connect function, and we're just going to say game dot oh, game dot replicated storage dot remote events dot change team. No. Oh. Fire, sir, and blue. Actually, let's just do script dot parent dot name. So I can just duplicate this a couple of times. And there we go. And if we just make this invisible, and then quickly make a Quick script in this script dot parent dot mouse button one click connect function. We can just say script dot parent dot wait script dot parent dot parent dot uh, frame dot visible is equal to not script dot parent dot parent dot frame dot visible. Okay. Now it should work. Change team, blue team. Okay, I'm on blue team. White team. I'm on white team. Red team. White team. Red team. Blue team. White team. Red team. Okay, that's fun. Okay, now we just need to test with five players to see if there's actually a max of four. Okay. Weirdly, most of us are on blue team. None of us are on red team. That's so weird. Okay. So, that's a lot. Wait, no, I didn't make it so you can guys just can see it. Ah, oh, gosh. Uh. Hmm. How'd you actually be able to see this? Oh. Oh my gosh, it's glitching. Uh. Okay, um, well, just you just have to trust me that this works. <laughs> I'm guessing it was very weird for you guys to just watch it not change. Um, so I'm sorry about that, but uh, just trust me on this. It works. I've tested it. Um, I just tested it. It works. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, and peace out.